emotional intelligence. Put your gentle attention on your hands, feeling the warmth, and let them be receptive, stably resting where they are. And visualize or actually put your hands on your heart, holding a space around your heart to feel what is happening now. And keep this image of your hands and heart connected and alive whenever it's needed. While holding yourself, ask, what is a reoccurring internal emotional state that feels wounding to you? And let it be something you can see that has an impact on how you are in your intimate relationship. Pause and get a clear vision. What is that deep wound that repeats in your life? It could be feelings of inadequacy, helplessness, loss, withdrawal, fraudulence, anger, anxiety, or any other feeling state that causes you suffering. Just be with this challenging emotional state and drop in. Feel the texture in your body and in your heart. Take as much time as you need to sense its quality. Ask now, when you're ready, what would be the most healing approach to care for the wound that you carry? Don't look for instant healing, but rather something that you sense with your emotional intelligence that can be supportive little bits at a time. Look at the wound and remember to ask what will help me most when I'm in this state. This is crucial because most of us forget that we have the capacity to support healing for ourselves when we are suffering. Again, this is crucial because most of us forget that we have the capacity to support healing for ourselves when we are suffering. And be sure to contemplate what is most real for you if you're feeling like a fraud, saying to yourself, I am going to be more authentic. If you're withdrawing, I am going to be more engaged. If feeling helpless, I'm going to inquire how to be most helpful or pray for the source of helpfulness. When you're feeling anxious, inquire, how can I relax more? Pray for peace or meditate to create a silence that gives you more perspective on your anxiety. If you're feeling agitated, angry, or irritable, I am going to pursue harmlessness, containment, or peace. See if you can appreciate yourself for taking the challenge of being honest about your shadow side and at the same time pursuing the healing. This is a demonstration of the utmost emotional intelligence, being able to hold challenging emotion and pursuing healing at the same time. Again, this is profound spiritual wisdom to be able to work with holding suffering and healing together. Allow yourself to take that in as you take a final look at your inner wound. Hold this together. Your wound with the deep intention to seek purification, wisdom guidance, meditativeness, inquiry, or support from your inner knowing. 
Give yourself encouragement that you want to access both your shadow and your healing as much as possible in your life. Let it be a blessing that you have arrived at this place where it makes sense to you. It is a sacred place.